And um, you know, when you're when you're playing an offense uh, like Coach Kingsbury, the way the way they operate, you know, it's such an explosive offense that you're going to have to score points and and you have to stay on the aggressive side. Did you still have? Did you have that thought process in the first half when they're scoring? Which is that we got to put points on the board because the first half your defense can stop. Well, that didn't occur during the first half. We knew it all week that you know they're a very good offense. They're great on third downs. Um, I think they're second in yardage, maybe in the country. I don't know. Um, but you know, you, you just stay with the game plan. Our, our, our players deserve a lot of credit for uh, staying the course and being confident in themselves and just keep on playing. Talk about Raymond Taylor. I mean, he seemed to have some pretty good juice for you. Really kind of got your running game. Yep. Raymond has tremendous balance, and he's strong. And naturally, he's, he's low to the ground. It's hard to bring him down. He showed that. Um, every time he's carried the ball, and uh, he's a guy that it's really great to see him get the production uh, that he got today. And uh, you know, Raymond, just a, a great, tough player. Doesn't say much. Just goes about his business, and really showed up big today. So very happy for him. The first four plays out of in the third quarter, you ran the ball. Or is that, uh, I guess, saying, hey, we've got to stick with the running game. Maybe keep their offense off the field because you didn't want to just turn to a passing team. Um, you, you take the game as it comes to you. There's really no crystal ball. Um, our coaches do a great job of giving suggestions and telling you as a play caller what's there. And so it's just combo punches and it happened to be run, you know, three runs in a row, but that, that's not a conscious decision. You're just, you're just calling plays and, and, and listening to the coaches who do a great job of uh, suggestions and adjustments and, and uh, you know, what the defense has given to us. Like Jado tonight, I mean, it was so great to see. Like Coach Cuddy was saying, it's a change of pace to have him in there. It clearly seemed like yeah. he did change the pace. <clears throat> There's no doubt. Um, we have two very good quarterbacks, and uh, you know, it's it's just a really it's a blessing that we have, and um, uh, they both played well tonight. And uh, our big our big um, reasons we won this game is their unselfishness and they're willing to uh, be team players. That's that's critical. And then the execution, obviously, very important tonight. Jay did a nice job, so did Mason. And uh, very proud uh, of both of those guys. Thank you. How you doing, Mike? Good. So Raymond Taylor came in here on a walk -up, as a walk-on you know, two years ago. Do you, do you remember the first time that you kind of got to meet and talk to him? And learn a little bit about him? Um, just, you know, going through spring ball, you know, given uh, a guy like that carries uh, during the spring because you're, you, can, you can do so, you know, because uh, um, he wasn't, you know, in, in the top of the depth chart. And uh, just he would surprise you all the time by just explosive runs. And even though it was with the second unit, you know, he was just a, a guy that uh, has tremendous balance and has great control of his body, he secures the ball and uh, runs tough. So. Uh, he's a guy that uh, still getting to know, you know, right. obviously. But uh, no, he's done a great job, and, and uh, very happy for him.